Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In uh, this video I'm going to discuss the 1941 movie uh, How Green Was My Valley directed by John Ford. Uh, this movie tells the story about uh, Hugh Morgan who is uh, a man who's going to leave his childhood uh, village and place um, and during the movie he is just telling the story about his childhood growing up in this village uh, in the um, in uh, Wales where he lived with his I think it was five brothers one sister and uh, his parents it is based on uh, this book with the same name uh, written by Richard Llewellyn Le from 1939 uh, I haven't actually read this book, but uh, when I told my father I was going to make a review of the movie, he, he said to me, I have to show this book that he has. Uh, so that was a, a fun fact. Um, but the movie itself is an is a incredible, beautiful and sweet movie. Um, it is definitely in, on my top 20 list of favorite movies of all time. And uh, it's quite funny because um, John Ford, the director, I'm not the biggest fan of. I, I don't like his westerns movies actually. Um, but when he made this, uh, he did something incredible, interesting, uh, and different than his usual movies. And uh, yeah, I think it's his best work actually. Um, it's, it's it's a fun fact about it is that it, the movie is incredible sentimental right from the beginning it's sentimental during the whole movie and uh, i'm not the biggest fan of sentimentality in movies I, I, that can some it can take me out of it when i watch movies because sometimes i don't feel anything but this movie has incredible balance with this sentimentality uh, because it's half this a uh, bittersweet and nostalgic feeling f about how we people uh, remember our childhood experience and I think a lot of people in life unless you have a bad childhood we sort of uh, think back of, of our childhoods as something um, uh, magical in some ways it's it's a bit different than how we see the the world today and and this has the, the great feeling of being nostalgic and also a bit romantic in that sense um, and yeah it, it's an incredible sweet uh, story and uh, right from but it also has a lot of hearts and humor in it uh, especially in the beginning when all the uh, the, the 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 people in the village they sing and they all have a great there's a wedding uh, party in the beginning and all people sings it's incredible funny and there's a lot of fun moments in this uh, I would if 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 the movie didn't go in a dramatic turn in the end then I could even have said this was a comedy uh, but uh, it has a lot of dramatic stuff as well and it's th that's also why I think it's an interesting movie because in the beginning it's it's everything is a bit um, peaceful but it slowly when when Hugh starts growing older the, he becomes more aware of the uh, the life in general and 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 the hard days for the people in the village when they are going to the mines and there's of course a lot of tragedy tragic Gee, I can't pronounce that uh, word, but uh, I'm going to say some spoilers now, so if you haven't seen it, uh, come back later. Um, but of course, near the end, when, when uh, of course, he also loses his um, older brother, but he loses his father in the end. And everything, uh, that ending is one of my all-time favorite endings, because it's such beautiful directive. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of John Ford's movies in general, I, I do acknowledge that he's an incredible director because he understands what cinema does in terms of visual storytelling and the power of images and actors' faces. It's so beautiful near the end where 
there's just this uh, big sound from the mines and you see start to see all these um, incredible intense moments where people running up to the mines to see that coming that that the um, explosion or not explosion but you know something has bad has happened there and uh, the, 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 there's a lot of close up of all the different uh, people in that scene and it's incredible well made scene and, and and so so yeah he he John Ford was a uh, very good director in that sense i also want to acknowledge all of the actors they are incredible casted of course uh, Rody McDowell the kid is uh, outstanding and he's so good casted because he looks like his parents it's kind of funny uh, that he looks like his parents in the movie um, but he's also just plays the part in uh, incredible beautifully and uh, the parents who has, I unfortunately have forgot the names of are also very well casted and they have a lot of uh, of course dramatic stuff but they also understands sort of how to move their bodies they just have to be a little more stiff and the, the siblings have to be a little more um, younger in that sense you, but what I mean is that the parents feels like they have been uh, uh, going into tough times and you can feel it almost in the way they move their bodies and they also have great sense of humor especially the mother who is uh, outstanding I, I can't remember if I've seen her in other movies but uh, she is the actress who plays her is uh, uh, amazing um, yeah and 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 I also want to credit the incredible amount of extras that you that is used for these movies Right from the opening, there's people all around, and and it never they never fade away. And also near the end of the movie, there's lots of people so the, uh, in in the background, and and I, that is incredible. Well done of John Ford as well that he can sort of make this scene work and feel authentic with all these people around. It gets a good um, atmosphere to it. And also love the the setting, the the village they have built. I'm not I'm not sure where they filmed it, if it was a studio or if it was outside. But both the landscape and the the village itself is is beautifully uh, filmed. No, no. One thing I want to say more. Um, the 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 priest by Walter Pitchin. He's also great. He has a great face. He's also in Mrs. Miniver, also one of my all-time favorite movies. Uh, so, so, so I really like him. He's an outstanding actor as well. And there's not no actor who's bad in this. There's uh, all of them does a terrific, terrific job. Uh, and uh, yeah, and this movie could have been on a top ten list. On a, when I made a top ten list of my favorite movies for um, a month ago and I was thinking a lot about this movie but I choose Minis Mrs. Miniver as sort of my sentimental pick because that movie is also very sentimental in a good way uh, but uh, I could easily have chosen How Green Was My Valley I think it is uh, an incredible not I wouldn't say underrated movie because it won a lot of it won Oscars and it has a great recognition but it's not a movie that is talk that much about nowadays you know because 1941 another movie from that year is uh, Citizen Kane directed by Orson Welles and that is sort of uh, a movie all film buffs talk about because how influential that movie w were and of course it, it it's not that I have anything bad to say about Citizen Kane but it, that movie has just been discussed so much about that I'm sort of getting a little tired of it, of it. and um, and I, but I think I would actually. But I think How Green Was My Valley is a better movie if I have to choose between these one, these two. And uh, I also think there was a, a reviewer who said something like, or a fi film critic who said something like that How Green Was My Valley is the greatest movie that has ever won an Oscar. And I think that is a kind of a, a fun uh, sentence to say. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm repeating myself now, so I'm going to stop this video. But it is a beautiful movie and I will, um, yeah, it, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of How Green Was My Valley. And uh, have a nice day.